Welcome to Bennett Port. Thank you. Glory is eternal. No! Oh! Should I just uninstall the mod? <laughs> At least we have long range stuff. From the robotics facility. They are quite active at saving enemies or defending our allies. Uh, take him down, immortals. So yeah, we're gonna try only pylons for giga economy here. See exactly how much money we do get. All right, let's uh, try not to lose. <laughs> yeah, at least, hey, money over here. We can grab that. And we're going to need more time to establish our fortifications. Do what you can to keep them at bay. So hopefully we got this base for our friend. Will be secure till they fire off that keystone again. Gonna get a lot of economy for our town. He's got a base over here. Is he going to take this one? Is he just going to have the largest economy in the history of mankind? Because that would be really nice, actually. I would not be upset if he did that. Right. Yeah, these guys feel a lot better, too. Research facilities are reporting that they are under attack. If you can rescue them, I'll return any Protoss technology they've collected to you. Careful. We have liberated a Dominion facility. All right. Liberation. We made it out alive. Some of our medics will stay behind in case you need them. Let's go, Artanis. Me and you. We march to victory. Me, me and you. You said let's proceed. I saw it in the chat. <laughs> You're just going to walk out there for me? Okay. Uh, sure. Ooh, sentry bots. Truly the most powerful of units. Oh. Yeah, no, I want to fight with my ally, not uh, alone. I expect the keystone will emit another disruption. Alone is for Shakoros. Yeah, here we go. Take a little push, maybe get them to expand, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they're way better against Zerg because they have uh, Marines, <laughs> single Goliaths, which are fantastic. Oh, I just lost my observer. That's pretty newbie. Finish all these off. And then, as I said, I'm going to try the full economy build. So I'm just keeping all those safe. Alright, come help me, Artanis. Oh, the army he has decided to send to help is... Two zealots. <laughs> we, better, we better take all this down really fast, otherwise we're not in for a good day. Let's just secure this outpost for my friends. Oh, he got three zealots. There we go. He's going to outnumber them. We can retreat to this. No, we can, it's just going to cleave through all this. It doesn't even matter, though. Oh, they're chasing. Good. They're not chasing. Here's my plan. All right, zealot front line. Let's go. No. <laughs> We got him. What an ambush at the top of the ramp. That was perfect. Commander, our forces are ready. The Dominion is engaging Mobius. Are they really friends if I constantly need help but they but I give nothing back to them? Uh yeah, I'm just a bad friend. They're great friends, I'm a terrible one. Now what am I why? What depraved person thinks that the Widow Mine is a unit in StarCraft? Alright, get him, Observer. You did it. Let's uh do this apparently Zerg bonus. I hope there's not Mutalisks. Oh my goodness, that is... Oh, okay, I did not expect it to be that strong. I think I just died. Wow. Yeah. 
The Hydra is pretty good against the Immortal. And I know that I would be doing better if I had, uh, if I was using my Spear of Dune stuff, right? But we're, we're ramping up that money, getting as many passives as we can. So right now we are at, uh, 7 times 25. We're getting pretty close to getting one Immortal every minute. Which is not that many Immortals every minute. I'm gonna put this pile on over here. Stepman! Hey, how you doing, Stepman? We've broken their defenses. Let's get He's our boy! <laughs> Why, what's he doing here? Why is he in the back? Hey, I'm glad I found him. What a nice little treat. So I do feel like the, uh... The bonus objectives are harder than anything else because we don't get to fight with our ally. Will occur soon. Remember, we can use this time to protect our allies from the hybrid or attack Mobius Core. Are you even on the map, Karax? I have no idea. Zertul has or nobody has taken this. It's very offensive to me. I worked very hard to clear that out and they just completely ignored it. So are the Zerg stunned? Yeah, they are. Okay. Um, so here's my plan. Delon Protoss. I want the bonus. <sighs> the fact that the Widow Mines splash one shots observers is the single worst designed thing in StarCraft. Like, straight up, I don't know how it's still in the game. It was never good design, and it is so frustrating. <laughs> uh, okay, so these Zergs are not entirely stunned, and I cannot fight through them. Let's go. Let's go help out over here. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening with this stun stuff. It doesn't seem to be completely consistent. Like, these ghosts are... Nova Terra herself? Okay. It definitely a little bit of debugging to be working on there. Oh, whoa. Okay. Ah. Uh, mm. There's a lot of stuff. But we have a lot of friends. <laughs> this mission is not going well. Damn. We can do it. Yeah, we're fine. Sometimes you have to fight with the ally they didn't intend you to fight with. <laughs> I just want this bonus and it feels impossible. <laughs> uh, I guess that's what Solar Lance is for, right? To make the impossible possible. This is a big attack wave, though. Maybe if we clear the enemies far enough, then Artanis will go do the, att or the bonus for me. Okay, is there a tank anywhere? Yes, let's uh, dive this tank because that's what immortals are for. And just keep the fight going. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. That wasn't my immortal. Hmm. So I'm going to be completely honest, I don't really like this pylon strategy. It feels like it ramps up so slowly, and you are giving up so many resources, so much clearing potential, in order to stack all of these pylons. Uh, I think it's better to use the Spear of a Dune to retain your units early, than it is to uh, build up that income over the... Oh, come on! It was the one that I didn't have shield up for. No! The AI is really good. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, man. I was going to look cool there, too. People were going to be like, oh, he's getting your mod. Then I manually activate the shield and save my guy. And people were like, whoa, Grant does games. But no. I'm going to stick with it, though. I said that I'm going to stick with it. And honestly, I kind of feel like I just want to make Dragoons here. The immortal short range, plus the fact that I'm supposed to sit behind my ally who's using stuff like Goliaths. This Dragoon has lived longer than anyone else. He's done more damage than anyone else. And he's half the price. So yeah, I'm really feeling like the Dragoon might just be the answer here. And the Immortal is too expensive. Okay, let's try to take this Taldorim wave down. Fortunately, Ghost himself is here. I'm going to declare that this is stone. Uh, sure. I don't know where that's going, and I don't mind, I think. Oh, okay. Where's Nova? <laughs> Sir, there's too many of them. Go Nova! see it happening. I don't see us winning. Never mind, we're fine. We have the ultimate force field. And this is what I'm looking for. There we go, Artanis. You're actually being real smart here. He's making enormous progress on that side. We have 22 seconds. Let's try to keep what we can alive. Thank goodness for force fields, right? Yeah, uh, the Dragoon does feel significantly better here. The extra range is very important. I think that things like the Wrathwalker is actually going to be amazing in this mod as well for the same reason. Just having a really, really long range thing that does insane damage from the back feels very important. Here's my observer. Uh, we got a little bit more money to work with. Do I have a forge somewhere? Out there. Nope. Uh, ah, there we go. I don't think the plus one attack that I was missing isn't really that important, but it'll be nice to have. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Just keep putting these in Artanis' base, because I figure I'm dead if I lose Artanis' base. Oh, that's a lot of stuff, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's just go fight with Artanis. Oh, Artanis is going to go fight with me. There we go. I think we ran into an attack wave the moment we went up there. It was a little bit of bad luck, but... The fact that we retreated and dealt with this means that the push over here might be easier. I feel really bad for Jim. <laughs> He's getting annihilated by these Zerg, and I can't do anything about it right now. I see that Widow Mine. I'm bringing the Observer over. We have a lot of ghosts fighting with us, too. Interesting. We have one less ghost fighting with us. So we have that little line going on. It is interesting because with this pylon strat, it is slow, but it's also infinite money. Like, we will win this eventually just off of the fact that we get more and more and more money as time goes on. I'm still not having a good day against these enemies. Hmm. Okay. What? Where's the go? Oh, a specter. A specter. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a Mobius ghost that was shooting somewhere. But that seems fine. Fortunately, we have the two Artanis Zealots remaining out of three. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, we 
We might be good against these hybrid. That is a lot of hybrid, though. But I'm feeling all right. The backline ones. Just retreat a little bit. Our ally dies, but that's what they're for. I'm, I'm so used to Nightmare, I keep going like, oh, I can't leave these hybrid destroyers. They're going to stack up their buffs so much. And then I realize, oh, wait, that's not how they work. Whoa! <laughs> that's a lot of guys. That's a hybrid dom dominator. Almost called it a hybrid denominator. <laughs> well, it's going to divide my forces and conquer. <laughs> okay, Jim, do your best. Doesn't get any easier. Time to take him out. You can do it. I believe in you. At least I've gotten up to the legendary 25 supply mark. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm going for the bonus again. It's gotta be good, right? Like, the fact that it sends our allies stuff means it's gonna be extra good. But it does appear that there's like a hive producing. But at least we can fight the mutas this time. I miss stalkers. The ability to blink here would be so nice. Jim, please don't lose that fight. Okay, take down the spines before they can hit us. Finish off the roaches and the hydras. Looks like they're rallying stuff out of a production structure at this point. They're not even building up their groups. That's good. Okay. We're going to inch over here. Oh, they have the shockwave missile batteries upgrade too. Okay, no wonder they're doing so much damage. Thank you for your help. No problem. Our last science vessels are on their way to the front line. Cool. We got a lot of money for it. This was worth it. But unfortunately, now we have to destroy this base so the science vessels can get out. I would really like Jim to take this base like he's supposed to. He's, uh... Kind of not doing his job. His Jimmy job. Hmm. I think we can put a pylon here now. Because this area is going to be ours. So they're not going to be able to destroy it and remove my income. Where's Artanis? I don't want to... I'm going to leave a couple guys here to target down. Oh, okay. I see how it works. So what's happening is that uh, the Zerg that are hatching from the eggs during it are not stunned. Just, uh, there's your bug report for the day. Then we can boom, 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 get some of this money. I am not feeling great about our allies' chance of survival here. I was going to try to bait some of these hybrid upwards. They have 30 seconds. Okay, our Tannis is coming to help. Thank goodness. The hybrid running away. Remember, the command center is what has to stay alive. This Dominator has detection. So we have to take it down if we want the ghost to continue to be good. And now we hit the flank. Get real tired of that. Let's give him a taste of the pain. 
A taste of the pain. A taste of the pain sounds like a logo. Oh, not a slogan for a sports drink to me. It, like trying to emphasize the fact that you exercise so hard and that it's a it's a taste of the pain. I think we actually got this. <laughs> it took a lot of work, but we managed to take it down. Thank you for healing me. This is why I wanted them. The science vessels being able to patch us up is so nice. Unfortunately, it just took 70 to 80 units in order to <laughs> retrieve it. Up to a legendary 45. 51 supply. Incredible. So one thing I am feeling is that this mod does feel a little bit snowball-y. So, uh... Unit conservation early, I think, is going to be even more important than before. Just due to our very limited unit production. Make sure... And I think that might be a demerit against the Dragoon. The Dragoon, obviously, is very strong statistically. However, it is incredibly difficult to micro Dragoons away when they're going to die. And that has been a consistent problem. So, they take longer to get killed, but then they they die. <laughs> How many pylons have we gotten? So we have 19 pylons over 30 minutes. That is not a very good rate. Comparing that to, for example, 19 solar lances and where that would have gotten us, I am... I, I would prefer the solar lances, I think. There's definitely diminishing returns. It'd also be better to have continuous income instead of burst income. That is true. Uh, if it was a little trickle over time, it would be nicer. It wouldn't be huge. It would be nicer. I think these observers have like extra vision range. That's actually really nice. It felt like that was seeing the widow mine from a really long way away. Which I do appreciate. Even though the Widow Mine splash killing stuff is still dumb. And I will not I will not cede that point because it's a fact. There is no opinion here. I think I can put one like over here soon. Just keep that area safe. Call the rim are doing their thing. The ghosts are saving the Dominion as they always do. And Artanis is charging in with... Never mind. He's very bad. At oh, did I see Predator? I think I saw Predator. Okay. We actually did stuff. Valerian is... <laughs> Every time he's just getting so beaten up, his life is so bad. I'm sorry, Valerian. Uh, well, let's uh let's try to get him the battle cruiser base. A little birthday present for him. Damn. That's one hell of a headache. Thanks for the help, Artanis. Did I lose my observer again? No, he's right here. Okay. <laughs> I gotta clear out the mines. And then hopefully he'll take this place. Marines, push the battle line forward. Do you think that Artanis isn't taking this base because there's a burrowed mine somewhere? I'm not sure. Let's uh let's go check that out. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what was was causing this. Uh, I'm not seeing a mine. Definitely worth checking, but no, nah, I was incorrect. So, Larian's building up this base. Jim is... Ah, oh, Jim. Jimothan Rainin. Try 
I take the tanks down. So he's not going to be able to hold that location. Hopefully Valerian can hold his. The amount of tanks that the enemy sends makes it very difficult for them. But I have to go do this bonus. Uh, that'll stop the Taldorim, which will be really nice, so that Valerian will stop uh, having this happen to him. And we're going to be way better against the Taldorim than we are against uh, the Zerg. Oh, there's some money here. Not a whole lot, but it's something. Yeah, this is going to be an easy fight. I really should have gone down here first. Yeah, you just need the high tier stuff to fight Zerg effectively. But Protoss dies to to Dragoons really, really well. They die to Immortals too. And Valerian's helping, which is actually quite nice. Unlike Jim. Wonder if the widow mines can fire. Uh, looks like they can. I'm not seeing a stun thing on top of them. Nor do they have the stun debuff. So it looks like uh, robotic stuff can still fight, which makes sense. Thank heavens, almost everyone died. That's my favorite voice line in StarCraft. He's just so happy everybody died. Emperor Valerian, we have secured all of the threatened facilities. I promise you, I won't forget this kindness, Hierarch. I'm actually maxed, kind of. Well, except for the fact that I'm losing people. Just leave this concave. They should walk right in. Oh, sorry, ghost. You worked so hard. You defended so much, and I just let you get annihilated there. So these guys fire Yamato. It's fine. Pull out of the storm. Push them all off, and then... Let's start breaking into their base. Uh, take down the Predator. Then we pull the... <laughs> Where's the Observer? Come on. Well, I'm going to lose a lot, but... If we can bust this and make our ally have a good day, I think it's worth it. Uh, we got turreted. Gotta make another observer. Ow. Oh, I was so happy that he sent a battle cruiser, and then the AI is like, sup. You like battle cruisers? <laughs> I got I got some. So yeah, it does appear that 92 is my max supply, which is, uh, I assume it's because I have that Spear of a Dune supply thing. So that's increasing it by a weird percentage. Maybe it's like 75% plus, or maybe it's 75 plus a Spear of a Dune number. Something like that. Oh, it's 80 plus Spear of a Duna. That makes sense. Well, we're finally busting through all of this, which means that they're not going to be able to send the attack waves. It's going to make life a lot easier. Jim is doing well. There's a... No, that's not money. One thing that always gets me on this map is uh, the fact that there's a bunch of cars that have icons that look like they're money, but then they're, they're dump trucks. So, I think that we're going to go to Shakuros next. That seems good. Oh, this was a grind of a mission. It took a long time, but I committed to the pylon. And I only mostly regret it. 
use this time to protect our allies. <laughs> but you have to learn, right? You have to experiment with different strategies to see if they're good or not. Are you guys victim shaming the guy whose car got blown up? Come on, chat. What's going on here? That's so bad manner. All right, I got force fields in the form of goliaths. But I can't kite too far, otherwise I'm going to get overwhelmed. I'm sorry, Jim. I've sent all of these hybrids to destroy you. Oh, another wave. You know what? Artanis can figure out how to deal with the final objective. I'll just deal with these guys. Oh yeah, you modded that. Perfect. It really is the legacy of the void your ally tanks for you mod. <laughs> Thank you, Artanis, for dealing with everything up here. You truly are a hero of the day, Llama. Get him. Pew. 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 Easy. 